Chill on my friends. Welcome to another walk in the word. <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> this may be the warmest day I'm going to see for the rest of this year, maybe. It's unusually warm today. Last time I get to go sleeveless, I think. We'll see. It's uh, November. <laughs> well, today is Thursday. Get to go out and do my walk in the word. I think today's the second. That means tomorrow is one of those dates. Tomorrow is November 3rd. You'll be seeing this on Saturday, November 4th, because I'm convinced now. Gather all the dates anybody thinks they've calculated out accurately. Write them down and you'll have a list of all the days that the Netchetef, the Harpazo, the Rapture will not be happening. <laughs> and uh, that's just the way it goes. Adam. Uh, Parable of the Vineyard YouTube channel. Really enjoying Adam's videos. I hope you are too. Uh, he um, he sang a song last week from his childhood. Sang it in Hebrew about a yellow butterfly. <laughs> I love it when Adam sings. <laughs> And it reminded me of a song I wrote, I believe I was 17 years old, titled Bumblebee Thee. <laughs> and uh, it's about a bumblebee, <laughs> a caterpillar and a butterfly and you and me and Abba Father. And it goes, uh, Bumblebee sat on my knee while a caterpillar sang a tune with a butterfly I'm just <laughs> staring at the floor with a question rising up on my mind why don't I love you why don't you love me what I mean is if we would love each other we would esteem Elohim yeah Yahweh Elohim Bumblebee It's hard to believe Tell me how a caterpillar can sing with a butterfly When one crawls on the ground and the other dances up in the sky He said If I could love you, yes, and If you would love me, what I mean is if we could love each other, you know we'd esteem Elohim, Yahweh Elohim. Yeah, Ooh, bumblebee, I think I see. After all, the caterpillar can change into a butterfly. <laughs> yes, and now it's just a matter of how hard we're all going to try. Because I love you, yes, and I know you love me. What I mean is... Now that we love each other, we can esteem Elohim, yeah. Yahweh Elohim. Ooh-doo-doo-doodly-dum. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh man, those of you who've read my book, you know who Mark Palladino is. <clears throat> friend of mine since she's I don't know preteens until this day in fact 
Mark was here recently with his wife Pam sat down at my table and spent time together further realized how great our love is for each other it's an amazing Baruch blessed relationship that Abba has uh, given me and uh, <laughs> we went out to dinner there's a steakhouse just a couple of blocks from here and uh, you know Mark he, he's eaten in restaurants around the world and he was amazed let me get out of this sunlight he was amazed he says you know Alan I've uh, I've eaten the, the best restaurants around all over the earth and uh, he says this is the best steak I've ever had it's uh, an amazing steak <laughs> it's aged and it's just delicious anyway uh, Mark has these songs on two inch tape that you know go back to when I was 17 years old he may have me singing that song I know he has other ones another song I wrote to children called love and fantasy that he still mentions come little children don't lean your ears this way for I am just a raven at your windowsill this day he still mentions it you know he's got all kinds of stuff he recorded me you know I don't know a number of times every year for eight nine years and these <laughs> these tapes are you know in a warehouse they've been untouched you can't take them out and play them they have to uh, go to a special lab and be baked then you can put them in the machines <laughs> look at this <laughs> can you see her oh what a beautiful little girl <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can put these tapes on the machine and run them through just one time and when you're done there will be a pile of uh, dust there'll be a pile, a pile of dust and that's it it's over with and uh, anyway we keep talking about restoring those they are very special recordings I mean the Ruach <laughs> was on me and every one of those and on Mark which is part of the amazing thing of our relationship he's a producer I mean he would take me in the studio and just he's amazing anyway we got these songs and who knows can't be here much longer this is the final year five seven 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 I would go by the uh, you know the Hebrew calendar year when it begins and ends not you know thinking like oh we have to go home before December 31st this year right no now you know Somebody posted under last week's news because I've been mentioning these six watchmen. Somebody posted uh, about Adam, Parable of the Vineyard YouTube channel, and they said that uh, that he uh, he preaches a flat Earth and uh, promotes the God of Islam. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, my friends, this is, uh, I don't remember who posted it. I asked them to give me, uh, more than an accusation. I waited a day or so, they didn't respond, and I deleted the comment. And, uh, 
but if you're listening and you know who you are you made two grave errors number one uh, you're slandering a beloved brother in Mashiach without even vetting him yourself you are going on the lies of another person and publishing them publicly now Adam he made one video about the flat earth I'll get into that in a minute um, but there's no way he ever promotes or promoted even in an instant the God of Islam that's a lie that was put out there by someone else who likes to call himself a watchman and you believed him and you spread the lie without proving it for yourself you'll answer for that here comes Nancy Nancy can't see hey Nancy it's Alan <laughs> I'm uh, walking around with my video camera. <laughs> say, say hello. Oh, what happened to you? I'm fine. I just don't come out a lot. Speaking. You're speaking pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Are you enjoying your walk? Yeah. I run up to a big half. Yeah, at, uh, Trader Joe's. Yes. Much love, sweetheart. Much love. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Nancy, uh, she doesn't see but shadows and she walks around with a stick and cars hit her all the time. <laughs> People driving asleep. And she had a stroke so she, now she has trouble speaking. But let me tell you, she couldn't speak at all months ago. She's getting better. I was talking to that person. You know, you're going to have to answer for what you did. Never slander anyone without proof. Adam, uh, Adam loves Yahweh. The ale of all Elohim. And uh, he has never promoted Islam. Now, he made one video about the Flat Earth theory. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't condemn him for that. He's, you know, looking for the truth, as a watchman is supposed to do. And, um, you know, look, you have two camps. One camp says that the Earth is a sphere and they have all kinds of scriptures from Abba's word that make that very plainly true. The other camp says that the Earth is a flat disk and they have all kinds of scriptures from Yahweh's word that shows how that is true. Both camps are absolutely wrong and I can prove that <laughs> more than anything they prove <laughs> with one scripture from Yahweh Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 17 says and I quote you don't know nothing <laughs> that's what it says you don't believe me go read it Actually, it says, you don't know nothing. 
and there are those they think they know everything but they don't know nothing Ecclesiastes 8:17. I've said so many times I'll say it again so many times no one can own anything of Elohim you can't own the things of Elohim the universe we live in is the creation of Elohim. Men, they pick it apart with their mechanical tools and their three-dimensional imperfect brains and they think they got it all down and they announce it and then a couple of years later they always say, oh we used to think that but now we know this, you know. <laughs> We used to think there's three dimensions, now there's four, you know, yeah, ten, no, no, there's eleven, you know, and now we got thirteen, you know, on and on and on. Fact is, no one will ever define the creation of Elohim on any level there is. It's not possible. It can't be done. You're looking at something that is who knows how many dimensions we don't know I would think it's countless we're looking at it with a three-dimensional understanding and a three-dimensional vocabulary and we think that we're able to understand it and then we look at the father's word in English <laughs> please the English is an absolute bastardization of what the Father said. Anywhere, you know, there's large parts of it that, yeah, okay, you know, that'll work. But, you know, they, they see that the earth is on pillars. English words. And they go, oh, it's fixed, it's on pillars. What, somebody poured cement up in the universe? Give me a break. It does not say the earth is on pillars. I don't know what the Aramaic Hebrew word is, but pillars is a pathetic, anemic interpretation. And even if we went to the Aramaic Hebrew and explained as much as we possibly could what Elohim was describing, we would not be able to convey it and he, even as far as we went with that we would never be able to understand it. Yochanan writing the book of Chazon, John writing the book of Revelation, he was probably like, how do I write this down? I don't know how to explain this. You can't word it. <laughs> anyway, uh, the earth is not flat, and the earth is not a sphere either. There's the whole thing. Forget it. Don't even go there. To try and go there is a trap of Satan. This is not a rabbit trail to go and study. This is a rabbit hole to study that takes you in underground into darkness and confusion because you're looking at something that you couldn't understand if it could be explained and it's something that you can't explain in the first place. Forget about is the earth flat, is the earth a sphere, forget that garbage man. Spend your time getting washed by and growing in Yahweh's word so that you're not asleep when he comes. He's coming now. Wake up. <laughs> Oh, man. So, you know, I asked Adam about it. <laughs> he's like, man, I hope this doesn't end our friendship, you know, but if it does, you know, because Adam, you know, he's not, Adam's not a double-minded man. He's not going to change his opinion because Alan might get mad at him. He's like, if this does, I'm sorry. I says, Adam, come on, this has got nothing to do with our relationship. It's got nothing to do with your walk with Elohim. Everything Adam does is pure. He has a heart for the Father. It's immeasurable. It's wonderful. But 
stick with the word, bro. Forget about these rabbit holes. We don't know how the universe is made. We're not capable of understanding it. And to try eh, could be an act of pride that causes a stumbling. So that's our walk in the word for this week, my friends. Abba willing, I'll see you here again next week. Until then, keep your wicks trimmed. Keep your lamps ablaze. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Shalom, my friends.